The wait servers that TPNet integrates are intended to be used by another TPNet in a remote location in order to be able to process the weight of a scale that is not physically connected to that second computer. However, we are going to see how any programmer can acquire the scale weight in his own system. We will show two examples. In the first, a scale is read over the serial port and the weight is served via a REST API that handles GET requests over a given port. In the second example, a scale is also read via the serial port and the weight is served via WCF communication. We will show how this information can be retrieved from a .NET Core application and integrated into a proprietary system. When the scales act as weight servers, a small icon is displayed on the scale control itself. Hovering the mouse cursor over this icon displays information about the weight server in use. As we said, in the first example the weight is served by a REST API. We note the URL of the API. The advantage of this type of weight server is that it can be checked with any web browser. We are going to use a virtual machine to see that we can retrieve the information from another machine on the network. TPNet is running on a Windows 10 machine with IP address 100.0.103, while the virtual machine has a different IP address, 100.0.228 in this case. Also as you can see, the virtual machine is running a Linux system, in this case Ubuntu. We open the web browser in the virtual machine and indicate the URL provided by TPNet. We observe that when we do so, we recover the weight of that scale. The API reports the weight, if the weight is stable, if there is a scale error and the date and time. The response can be obtained both in JSON and XML format. As can be seen, this type of response is very easy to implement in any programming system. In the second example, we see that the wait server is implementing a WCF service. Windows Communication Foundation service. In the virtual machine, we have a small application based on .NET Core developed with Visual Studio Code. Once the service reference indicated by TPNet has been added, we run the code and we see that we retrieve the scale information. In TPNet there are other types of weight servers, from text files, XML files, JSON files, UDP communication, as well as the REST API and WCF. The developer can decide which of the different weight servers is easiest to implement in his system.